was your assessment, Clark? How it sort of fell apart the seams a bit? Yeah, yeah, geez, they were just too good. They played some good footy, but um, yeah, we, we started the game really well. It was four goals to one, and then it was probably the ease all day, the ease with which they got goals out the back. Um, which, um, you know, so many times it just became um, just one extra handball that we tried and they'd turn it over. You know, they did, it, they did it last week against Collingwood and Collingwood are actually experienced and really, really good outfit. So we shouldn't have been surprised, but they, uh, they, they pressured our ball carrier and we probably just uh, were, were at different stages, too attacking through the middle of the ground and those turnovers just hurt us, you know. Like, um, Joey and, and, and Eric played, played really good games for Brisbane, but they weren't your typical dominant forward games. They were out the back goals that they got far too easily because we made um, some really um, basic errors through the middle of the ground. Full credit to Brisbane. Uh, the pressure that they applied through that middle, middle part of the ground gave them the easy turnovers and the goals out the back. And uh, just the ease with which they got the goals, it, um, it ended up just breaking your spirit a little bit in the different stages. Um, you know, we found it really hard to get ourselves back into the contest. Do you think Simpkins broken his hand, or do you think Simpkin might have broken his hand? I'm not, not sure. He, he couldn't. He couldn't. Um, you know, clench his fist properly, so that doesn't look good for us. But we'll just have to wait and see what what transpires over the once he gets scanned or X-rayed over the over the early part of the week. Yeah, probably. They've, they've, they've played some played some really good footy. They've been the final side for four or five years. And I, I said to the players after the game, you know, where, uh, where Brisbane are now, that's where we want to be. And where they were four or five years ago is probably where we are now. So um, we, we know the path that we're on. And um, you know, by and large, we've been, uh, we've been pretty competitive. But we came up against a really good unit today. And we showed early on that we, when we're playing some good footy, um, we can uh, we can really challenge them, but uh, but unfortunately you need to do it for four quarters, not for 15 minutes. And um, you know they uh, they got themselves back into the contest by quarter time, and then just ran away with it far too easily. Yeah. I think the fans want to see George Wardlaw, but even uh, keen to be really patient with him. Is it probably another week after? You know, not quite next week. Next week. Yeah, yeah. Well, we. Um, we just want to make sure we were really patient with him to make sure we got his body fit and strong, and then uh, we, which included them giving him a spell from this week's game and um, and getting him right again, and, and then you know I don't know whether it'll be one, two, or three weeks, and um, who knows it might be it might be ten weeks. We just need to make sure he, we're hoping that he'll be a long-term player for us, and um, obviously with a result like today, we want to get that talent into our group sooner rather than later, but uh, we don't want to. We don't want to set him up to fail either. We want to set him up to, to have some success, and uh, we feel like we've been able to do that with young young Sheasel. Uh, we want to be able to do it with George as well. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a really valuable player for us, but um, yeah, we um, it, it's, it's no. We just needed to play his role for our side really well, and he's doing that in the back end pretty, uh, pretty impressively for us at the at the present time. Under a fair bit of duress, you know, he copped a corky today that just uh, he just made some mistakes with the footy on the back of his leg not being quite right for us. He, he turned over a couple of balls that he wouldn't normally turn over. So it's just um, we we know where we're at. We, we just need to keep working and um, and in, encourage our fans to to stay the stay the course with us. And um, there's going to be some ups and downs today. Was a bit of a downer for us after. After four weeks of being pretty competitive in games, but um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get ourselves ready for Gold Coast and see if we can learn a little bit more about ourselves next week. Yeah, I think so. I think I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. You said before the game it'd be a shame if Gatherout didn't get shuffled around. That's what we need to talk about Tasman. Uh, well, everywhere, Northern Territory, Tasmania, Queensland, Western Australia. Um, we've, had a, we've had a fair few gather rounds in Victoria over the journey, so I don't think that one will be happening. But um, New South Wales, I mean, there's, there's, some, there's some great venues right around the country. And um, economically, it'd be, it'd be great that it's shared around. But, you know, if, if the success of it being here is... And it's so central, Adelaide, for, for all states, which, uh, which helps their cause. But, um, yeah, they've done a great job, the, the, the South Wales government, um, you know, supporting the AFL and um, providing what's been a really good spectacle. You know, it's uh, the the spirit in um, in Adelaide here has been first class, and uh, hopefully it continues over the next couple of days of footy. Chris, the result was clearly not what you wanted. But Chris spoke of the surprise about the fifty-seven he lost today, and the surface just what they created with it. Were you the same? 
Yeah, yeah. Well, this is this is a first class facility. I, I spoke to a couple of the local lads who um, who play their footy here. They're they're pretty excited that once all these uh, all these grandstands and that get get pulled down again, the the temporary ones, um, they got a pretty special overlay to just play their local footy at, which is which is really special. But oh, it's great to have venues like this right around the country.